What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. It looks like we might be getting some updates to Pokemon Go soon, as Niantic is testing out a new feature that's supposed to add more value to your in-game purchases. So let's go ahead and hop into the details. Bye. Bye. So according to this article here on PokemonGoHub.net, Niantic has launched the Pokemon Go web store. The article states that Niantic started the soft launch of a new Pokemon Go web store yesterday in Australia, Norway, and Singapore. The web store will be rolling out in other countries in the near future. So right now it's still kind of in like beta testing, I assume, and it's being released overseas and we should be seeing it here in the States sometime soon. So it says here that the benefit of the current iteration of the web store versus the in-app store is that the web store has four bundles of Pokecoins that provide bonus coins, which go up in value with each more expensive bundle. And so it looks like these are the four bundles that we have here for the Pokecoins. We have one bundle that gives you 1200 Pokecoins, so you get 60 extra, another bundle that gives you 2,500 Pokecoins, you can get 150 extra. One that gives you 5,200 Pokecoins, you get 350 extra. And lastly, one that gives you 14,500 Pokecoins, where you get 1,000 extra. So what is the benefit of this store over the in-game store for Niantic? Purchases made through the web store don't fall under platform fees like for Apple or Android, like the fees that they have to pay to Apple services or Android services. Niantic must still pay fees to the underlying payments processor and cover the cost of managing the web store. Curiously, a lot of game publishers have their own web stores in order to give their players added value for their purchases, in this case, bonus coins. And additionally, it opens up the door for added payment options like Amazon Pay and PayPal, so we have hoped to see some movement in that area as well. So it looks like they're trying to give people more options options in order to make these in-game purchases, as well as of course adding extra value by giving you extra coins so you get more bang for your buck. And it looks like they sent out an official marketing email, which the article states that a group of randomly selected trainers received this marketing email last night. So this literally rolled out like yesterday. The email said, trainer, we are excited to announce the launch of the Pokemon Go web store. The web store offers the best deals, the biggest bundles and exclusive offers. Plus you can get up to 1000 bonus Pokecoins with every purchase. You can use Pokecoins to purchase bundles and other items items from the in-game shop. This offer is only available at the Pokemon Go web store. Visit store.pokemongolive.com and log in to see all available deals. Don't forget to check back regularly for updates and special offers. And they do have this note that the total number of Pokecoins received will vary based on the Pokecoin bundle purchased. Visit the listing of each bundle to see the details and the Pokemon Go web store is currently available only in certain regions. I did try to click on it earlier and it said that it was not found. It wasn't available in the region yet, but this is definitely something to keep your eye on if you do still plan on making in-game purchases for Pokemon Go. It looks like it might be a little bit more beneficial to purchase your Pokecoins through this web store once it does go live globally, since you are gonna be getting those extra Pokecoins, which with the recent changes that they've made to the in-game shop with raising the prices of a ton of different items, ahem, <clears throat> remote passes, for example. If you do plan on spending your money on things like that, I think this is definitely the route that you would want to go. But that's all the information that we have so far on this new web store that is supposed to give us more bang for our buck if we do plan on buying Pokecoins in Pokemon Go. But as always, I would love to hear what your opinion is on everything that we just went over down below in the comments. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this update. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, I kindly suggest you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you're already subscribed, and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.